Mr. All set to make, as you already know, a two-day visit to the UAE. It's a visit that's going to be starting in just a little while from now. Now, in regards to that visit, the Prime Minister tweeting out, over the next two days, I'll be visiting the UAE and Qatar to attend various programs which will deepen India's bilateral relations with these nations. My visit to the UAE will be my seventh since assuming office. It's his seventh since 2015. This is a very, very important relationship for the country. The UAE is India's third largest largest trading partner. To tell you more about the relationship and what lies in store for the next two days, what are the important discussions, we'll have a reporter joining us in just a second. Remember, the Prime Minister will also be meeting members of India's diaspora in the UAE. We'll bring you more context on all of these developments. My colleagues, uh, my colleagues Siddhant and Abhishek are bringing us these details. Siddhant is with us live right now to bring us all of the details on the story. Siddhant, the Prime Minister putting out this tweet. But just to eliminate for us, what is the Prime Minister's schedule over the next two days, what are the crucial meetings where business is going to be discussed between the leaders of the two countries? Well, good morning, Toya. Uh, right now, we are at uh, Zayed Sports Stadium in Abu Dhabi, and perhaps this is the stadium where Prime Minister Modi is going to address uh, the Indian diaspora today evening at around uh, uh, between 6 to 6.30. This is what we have been told. That's the tentative time. Uh, when Prime Minister uh, will arrive at this stadium and this stadium is going to be uh, packed with uh, with diaspora. We have been told that 45,000 passes have been distributed to ya. And in fact, uh, uh, the venue is already oversubscribed. So the last minute preparations are right now going on. And uh, uh, right after landing in Abu Dhabi, Prime Minister is going to meet uh, the senior leadership uh, from the UAE government and perhaps he's going to hold bilateral uh, talks in the afternoon. Uh, this is what we have been told. Then late in the evening, he's going to come uh, to uh, the Zayed event, uh, Zayed Stadium for Ahlan Modi uh, event. Uh, perhaps the biggest uh, uh, diaspora event Prime Minister has ever taken in last uh, uh, 10 years of his uh, tenure and perhaps there's a lot of excitement also here on ground and then tomorrow to air the plan is the Prime Minister is going to uh, participate in the Pran Pratishtha of BAPS Hindu temple uh, in Abu Dhabi and uh, post that he's going to go to Qatar to hold talks with the uh, senior leadership of the uh, Qatari government. Now uh, that is perhaps what Prime Minister has also said uh, 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 in the tweet uh, that has come from his account that uh, his trip is going to perhaps uh, further deepen the ties between India, UAE and India, Qatar. And this Indian Prime Minister also interestingly mentioned that uh, this visit of Prime Minister is going to be his seventh visit uh, to UAE since 2015. And also to, yeah, you know, uh, uh, UAE is India's uh, uh, strategic partner and uh, in last eight months Prime Minister uh, has uh, uh, this is going to be Prime Minister's third visit uh, to UAE and uh, that is also the case with the president of uh, UAE he also visited India uh, twice in last uh, uh, three months so that is perhaps the closeness the understanding between the two nations and this is the reason that today Prime Minister is going to hold bilateral talks to the, with the government of UAE, okay. uh, uh, with the leadership of UAE, and then he's going to address the community event, Alan Modi, here at Zaid Stadium. Okay, so Siddhant, you have brought us multiple ground reports in terms of the preparations that are already ready. Let's take our audiences to them now. The Prime Minister is all set to make this two-day visit, as we just told you. And remember, the UAE is particularly important for India, not just for economic reasons. It's also almost 4 million Indians that live there. And the Indians make up to 30% of the population of the UAE, where the largest ethnic group in the country.